You know, Democrats are actually trying to do the job that our families sent us here to do. And we are giving Republicans one more chance to decide whether they want to join us or to keep prioritizing political games, even at the expense of our economy, even if it costs people jobs, even if it undermines the financial security of everyone in the country. Look, people send us here to fight for them. They want us to work to make things better. They want us to make health care and child care and a quality education easier to get. They want to make sure they can get a job with a fair paycheck and a safe workplace and a secure retirement. They want us to make sure that the roads and the bridges are safe and to make sure the trains and ferries run on time, to make sure they have a roof over their head. They want us to provide a fair path to citizenship for immigrants in the country, and they want us to support the Afghan families and refugees seeking a brighter future here. They want us to respond to crises like pandemics and hurricanes and economic disasters and climate change with bold action. That is not a political agenda. That's the job. That's the basics. That's the marching orders the Senate got loud and clear from families across the country in the last election. Now, no one expects everyone to agree all the time, but at the end of the day, people do expect us to try and make progress and get things done and not stand in the way. Between the work Democrats have been doing to pass the Build Back Better plan and the work we are doing to avoid a shutdown and a default and Republican-caused economic catastrophe, I think the record right now shows pretty clearly which party is here to fight for our economy, for our workers, for our families, and not just here to score political points. Which party is here trying to solve the problem, which is trying to cause the problems. Republicans have one more chance. We are going to have a unanimous consent request here shortly where they will have to decide whether they are truly unwilling to lift a finger to help families and avoid an economic disaster. I hope that's not the case, but if it is, Democrats are not going to give up. We're just going to keep working harder. Our nation cannot afford inaction. Thank you.